There was a time when the DuPont plant in Waynesboro was a part of one of the largest employers in Virginia. They used mercury from 1929 to 1950. They stopped using it in 1950, then uh, it was mid to late 70s. Uh, they, they actually were doing some excavation work, found some mercury in the soil, uh, did some further investigations, found it in the fish, and um, so that was late 70s. Calvin Jordan is a corrective action project manager for the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality. Tuesday, the biologist was the lecturer for the Signature Speaker Series Science Talks. The event was held at the Wayne Theater. Jordan focused on the South River restoration and DuPont settlement. Oh yeah, the contamination was going since they started using mercury. Um, it wasn't an intentional dumping. It was just, a, uh, just the, the way things were handled back then. In 2016, DuPont reached a $50 million settlement with the state. The company is accused of releasing mercury from the Waynesboro plant in the 30s and 40s. They actually recycled the mercury that they used. Uh, it would end up in their waste sludge. They'd put it through a process called retort. Uh, which is they would heat the, the sludge up, the mercury would vaporize, and they would capture that and put it back into the process. So they were actually trying to recycle the mercury. Um, they weren't dumping it. The city of Waynesboro is getting some money. Um, so there's one funding agreement in place uh, to work on the Loth Spring project area. So I think their plans are they're uh, purchasing some of that property. Um, they're going to daylight. Uh, Low springs. Jordan maintains DuPont complied with the settlement until the company went through internal changes. These assessments can be cooperative and with DuPont they were until they weren't, if that makes any sense. For 10 years they were cooperative until all of a sudden they weren't. They, it was, we need, we need to settle this now. Uh, there was a two year period of uh, lawyers negotiating, I guess. Um, but a lot of times it's a cooperative assessment and the idea is that, you know, you go over each one of these resources and you try to come to a, uh, an agreement on what these damages are and what the restoration needs to be done to restore these damages. Morgan Shrewsbury was in the audience. Shrewsbury is an environmental project manager for Augusta County. It was very educational, it was very informative of what exactly was in the settlement, what the settlement was focusing on instead of the whole DuPont in general, so it's very focused on the Nardar settlement itself. DuPont's Waynesboro plant was opened in 1928 to manufacture acetate rayon fibers. DuPont began producing yarn in 1929. In 1930, the Rayon Technical Division Acetate Research Laboratories began at the plant. Well, I have to realize that it was back in a time period that a lot of these regulations weren't well known or weren't well established. Um, I'm very thankful that the establishment of these regulations and controls on these individual bodies, these companies have been established. So it's, it's upsetting to know it happened, but I have to understand that we've also improved the state of Virginia has proved with regulations for it. In Waynesboro, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.